Hey there folks, welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. This time I'm bringing you a quick video on Frigate and talk about my personal experience using the platform. Home Lab is a division from 45 Drives that takes our enterprise design philosophy and brings it to a scale that works for your home lab. Premium storage servers are big, strong, fast, while also being open and flexible so you can easily modify, upgrade, and repair it, all at the price that makes sense for a Power Home Lab user. So getting into today's topic, Frigate's an open source video network video recorder, NVR, built for real-time object detection using AI. It's designed specifically for home and business security camera setups and it runs on Docker or standalone Linux systems. It uses TensorFlow or Coral TPU acceleration for real-time object detection, so for things like people, cars, animals, etc., reducing false alerts from things like shadows or trees moving. All the video detection happens locally, keeping your footage private, no cloud dependency, which is great. Seamlessly integrates into Home Assistant for home automation, so you can trigger lights, alarms, or notifications based on detected objects. Also has smart recording. Instead of recording 24-7, Frigate captures clips and snapshots only when motion or relevant objects are detected, saving storage. And it supports multiple RTSP camera streams simultaneously, uh, with motion detection and customizable detection areas per camera. And lastly, has a clean, fast interface to view live feeds, review recordings, and manage settings, change your configuration, uh, all through the web UI. So I've been running Frigate for almost two years on a container inside uh, Rocky Linux VM on my Proxmox server. I know that's a lot of layers, but I figured now I have an HL8. So let's work on redeploying it as a rainy day weekend project. So. I'm gonna preface this by saying that when it comes to the home lab, I might do the videos, love tinkering, I'm trying to do new things, but I'm by no means an expert on topics uh, that I cover a lot of the time, especially when it comes to things like video. So I thought storage was a difficult concept when I started as a solution specialist, but when I started looking at everything you need to consider when developing a storage solution for video, you need to consider things like the number of stream, codecs, bit rate, frame rate, encoding, and oh boy, so much more. But honestly, it's a bit overwhelming and it still is to me a bit, but what I'm trying to say uh, with this, there are going to be better ways to do this than how I did it in this video. So please let me know in the comments below how you do this, what I could do differently, etc. But with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So let's get started with the hardware that I'm using. I have an HL8 running Pop! OS, but Frigga can work with just about any flavor of Linux, Rocky, OpenSUSE or SUSE, Arch, etc. because it's containerized. I'm running with a Ryzen 5700G CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, two VDEV RAID 10 ZFS pool, and I've got a Coral TPU installed to handle all of the object detection work. Outside of that, I have two cameras I purchased when I first deployed Frigate, a WiseCam V3 and an Amcrest 1080p camera. For this project, I'm using something called WZ underscore mini underscore hacks for the WISE camera. It's an open source community firmware that enables RTSP and local streaming. Just a heads up, this isn't officially supported by WISE, so you're going to, if you're going to run this route, you're going to be modifying the camera at your own risk. The WISE V3 camera is connected via Wi-Fi and the Amcrest is over Ethernet. Now, let's move on to the setup. Now, when I did this years ago, it wasn't too difficult, but trying to get everything running took a bit of time. Since then, I found a script that does just about everything for you, and uh, I'll put that link below. Now, take a look at everything it's doing before running it blindly. There may be certain things that you might want to change or adjust based on a security and personal preferences, because knowledge is power, and that's half the battle. But with that being said, let's hop into it. So I'm doing this all as root, to be honest, because I'm lazy. Uh, we'll create a frigate.sh file, then paste the contents, save it, make it executable by running chmod plus x frigate.sh, then run dot forward slash frigate start. The good thing is when it finishes and you can get into the frigate web UI, the config.yaml will be there so you can make edits if needed. So for now, we'll just focus on getting the wise camera up. So the wise mini hacks or wz underscore mini underscore hacks firmware is set up um, is complete, so I won't be going through that portion, but it's on GitHub, so I'm gonna put all the details in the config.yaml. From there, we can save, run Docker restart frigate, and then go to the web UI, and then from there, we should see it, and bingo, now we have that set up. So 
that's just about everything. Uh, keep in mind, this is a very basic setup and specific to my available hardware, my scenario, etc. So, do you have Frigate set up? Uh, do you have something else? What do you want to see in future home lab videos? So, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see uh, more of our home lab line, go to 45homelab.com. See you all next time.